Allies like, hmm, we could fight the Germans and take severe losses, or we let the Germans get over cocky, they push us, and then we murder them. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Grayshot17, and today I'm covering a 2v2 as part of my 4K replays. Uh, this is made by a fan and a patron, so if you want to be an amazing person and be a supporter, uh, you can simply just like, subscribe on this video. It really does help out, so thank you for your support. And if you want to go one step further, I have a Patreon down below. Get special perks. It really does help out. Thank you. And also, again, I, I say this not trying to be like, oh, yes, because I'm a YouTuber, I have to. I literally know that me saying that increases the chances, and I look at my uh, statistics and see that most of the people who watch my content, 40% um, of them are subscribed, the rest are not. So if you want to subscribe and help the channel, really it does help, so notification bell, all that stuff. But anyway, let's get to the game. We got ourselves a Brit and an American versus two austere players. Uh, the allies have picked doctrines being Commando Regiment, interesting. And Sir Marvel going with Airborne, which means Pathfinders, which are on the field. On the flip side, the Germans are d deploying a standard Gren, a Pioneer, MG combo, and uh, let's see, we got Commander Milks, um, Og Ogmore, Ogmore, the Silent Centurion, great name, Sir Mar Marvel. Isn't that, wait, isn't Sir Mar, wait. Oh, God. Now, now, <laughs> now, I, I, now I'm like, I think that's Captain Marvel isn't Sir wait no Sir Marvel is a different character right because I'm assuming again wait I, I could be wrong isn't Sir Marvel the character that the original name of the guy that can go Shazam isn't that it by the way anytime you say Captain Marvel that in my head is Captain Marvel just because for the longest time he, until they rebranded him to Shazam um anyway pioneers get in there grand ears uh as well get in there okay but uh yeah can't wait for cap uh for uh, shazam 2 but um yeah no maybe I'm, that's something else i i'll pro someone will probably tell me in the comments anyway if tree section have good cover so they can keep going toe-to-toe -to -toe with his forces uh let's see on the left if tree section are trying and successfully cutting off territory for the germans which, you know, if they manage to cut off that territory, Axis may not be in the best state. Luckily, Grand Ears stop him and force him into the building. Which is going to make them harder to uproot. But, hey, it's not cutting off your very vital, precious victory points. So, positive there. Pathfinders coming on in. And there are more Pathfinders and Mortars, which are providing fire support. Though, MG looks like is focusing on the uh, frontline infantry rather than the Mortar. Because Mortar can be dealt with by the Grenadier. So... A low overextension by Sir Marvel. Uh, yeah, pay dividends to the Germans who were ready for it. Uh, Ogmore is moving on in and has gotten elite troops, so have some good grenades and such. They're trying to grab the territory, uh, like the VP, to keep the pressure going. And that'll be three VPs for the Axis, where allies have um, nothing. Entry section, though, are still doing damage and good cover. So, you can't discount a good Brit uh, playing a solid defensive game. Pathfinders are moving back out, but they haven't healed yet because, well, they don't have an ambulance. So, they can't really heal. Might want to get ambulance. MG setting up to keep them covered, and the Axes managed to pin the allies in the base. Actually, this MG could fire upon that mortar, but again... You probably just want to run. As good call, smoke came down from the American player, and the MG is uh, probably better off when not firing in, you know, smoke. And by firing, I mean he can't fire. So yeah, just get to a better defense position. Uh, let's see. Pathfinders are moving on out. Mortar now moving in. Grashlon supporting. Uh, Sir Marvel is going with a captain. Interesting. So we could see again some good AT and Howitzer support. The Brits, um, we can already see they've already upgraded their uh, infantry. Wow, okay, they've infantry is five man, and they've gotten assault officers. They have a great frontline force, honestly. Germans gonna have a real rough time with that. What I'm not hopefully uh, gonna have a rough time with, I'm super excited for, is also Stranger Things season four coming out. The trailer just came out. I am so pumped. I, I, although I will say this, I will say this. Um, 
my favorite Stranger Things trailer is probably season two. Still, uh, the thriller trailer is was just so good though. This one's I don't know. It's like right up there. But the thing was, that's probably my least favorite season. Even though I still think it's a great season. Uh, but still, I don't think. Uh, it, 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 it's just one of those things where it's like, okay, does this mean this season's gonna be okay? And then the odd ones are better. Hopefully this isn't a Star Trek situation, but you never know. But it looks good. It, uh, it looks good. So hopefully they, again, it, it's just as good as season three or season one. Anyway, MG gets overwhelmed uh, by three squads and sent back. Meanwhile, up north, we have Grenadiers firing and rifle grenade on the mortar, which kills it. Pathfinder's getting back to cover. They're hiding behind a, what is that, bucket? Oh, bucket. Jesus Christ, I'm losing my mind. Uh, behind a crate. Rifle grenade fires a little late, but whatever. They're already retreating, so I guess it's a win. They steal the American mortar, so Ogmore's like, ooh, free mortar. Yes. And, uh, you know what? Good for him. He has an MG. The mortar will provide good fire support. And three grenadiers are nothing... I'm oh, sorry. Four grenadiers are nothing to seize at. And again, it's... Uh, what? A captain and three pathfinders? Which you could give bars. You 100% could give bars. But you don't have the upgrade for. And having 11 munitions per turn doesn't exactly incentivize a lot of weapons going to you. FG section are battling out in mid. Again, they're fighting... A 2-2-2 two, two, two from Commander and Ogmore's forces, so they're kind of being hit by multiple directions. Not exactly the place you want to be in, so they're going to pull back a little bit. They have an AT gun on standby, so good job at least prepping with AT. Um, but let's see. Uh, we got ourselves a 50 cal. Uh, wait. 50 cal. Oh, he dropped it because of Airborne. Okay. Suppressing the Grenadier, sending him back. If G section now pressing it's the other one, forcing the Ogmore to be like, yeah, probably best to just retreat all of them and come back swinging. Meanwhile, MG's in uh, grabbing the VP in the south. 222 trying to reposition to figure out where they should go while Grandiers are flanking. Both have MG42, so they both have serious firepower. Um, not a lot of veterancy, though. They only got one or two kills each. But if they could, you know, get on the side of a Grandier and make sure, not Grandier, if G section, make sure they're not in cover. Then yeah, they could definitely do wonders. 50 cal might stop them though, and looks like it is setting on up. That thing has a great suppression rate, and yeah, there it goes. Both units are down. If she suction in cover, Gradier smartly retreat before they start taking some serious losses. So great teamwork right there by the allies. Meanwhile, uh, let's see right now. Oh! Assault officer throwing a grenade. Oh my god, yes! Good kill by the Silent Centurion. Neutralizes an entire uh, upgraded squad of Grenadiers. Knocks out the territory. And again, with some additional territory being taken, Axis truly are cut off in certain areas. So no fuel at all. Now, to be fair, no fuel for the Allies. But when you're the Allies and you're literally been, you know, beaten over the head by a bat for the last, like, good minute... It helps to know that the person beating you up is currently, you know, blinded. And, uh, you know, it helps you get back on your feet. Gives you a little bit of time. AT gun trying to remove the cover, which is weird because, you know, you probably want the cover for yourself. But no, it was probably in the 222 and just trying to fire. Meanwhile, you still have all these great ears along the side. And they have G43s rather than an MG42. So it is curious to see if he's going to do something or not. Mortars opening fire, okay. Coming on in. Right now you have a lot of infantry and stuff just chilling, hanging out in this sector. At least they're making sure the axes can't push further. But again, the axes are grabbing double munitions, which also not great. What? Wait, oh. Hold on, Commander. All MG42s, even though he has the ability for German infantry doctrine upgrade further that's interesting also stormtroopers are deployed i guess they're waiting for an ambush not a bad idea when if troops are better in cover to lure them out of cover and then murder them great here so pressing against the fg section having a rough time assault officer moving on in another gammon bomb by chance this is the silent centurion you want to make things less silent nope he's gonna dodge if she's actually rush around and get behind 
the Grenadiers. Do they actually some serious damage with Grenadiers as well? Uh, moving on in and gets the FG section in the north. I, mm, I don't know. Yeah, the FG section in the north retreated. That one was pretty low, so it made sense to pull back and just kind of hold. Grenadiers, uh, though, in the north. It looks like they're fighting the 50 cow, which is setting on up. No, it's retreating. He's like, hmm, I'm not in the right position yet. Pathfinders, though, are moving around, uh, trying to go from cover to cover. Grenadiers are staying cover while the other squad grabs the piece of territory right there. Rough Grenade is fired, and he misses. Uh, commandos are dropped, though. They jump out of the plane, which, again, provides sight and reinforcement bonuses in the region, so that's pretty solid stuff. Oh, and of course you can deploy more men. Rashalon is up on the top left, grabbing munitions back. Although VPs are once again against the allies, so we're seeing that uh, tick downward of about 140 points at this point. So, again, not the greatest. Let's see. A lot of forces nearby. Just trying to hold and reinforce while the Germans are doing what? They're getting the tier 3 stuff. They're getting the big boys out. And by that, hopefully, they get themselves a Panzer IV. Which he does have a ba uh, bonus for, for de uh, defense purposes. So Panzer IV could be, you know, uh, do hopefully a little better with that. Uh, let's see right now. He doesn't have enough resources, though, for a Panzer IV. Oswin could also be seriously good to fight infantry, which is the main issue right now. Although, to be fair, allies are prepping. They have double AT guns, so they're not down without a fight. They're like, okay, let's think about this. Double AT for the inbound armor that will be showing up very soon. And, yeah. Uh, Ogmore has also gotten tier 3. He's better in the field department. Again, Commander uh, might have been delayed slightly from the 222, but still, I think it's a good solid unit, so I don't think it's a, that big of a deal. Tactical advance. He's trying to focus his efforts on killing the infantry section. Does wear them down, but alas, not able to kill any. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. He did kill a model. They're five men. I thought they were four men. Oh, my God. My brain is working at 100%. You can tell. Not. Anyway, cash down. So at least that stops enemy forces from quickly decapping for the territory. Um, 222 retreating, though. Commandos are literally giving chase, which I find absolutely astonishing. Especially because especially they haven't lost a, a single model yet. Yep. Forces are taking over the territory. g section retreating. But yeah, no. The allies are pretty much coming back swinging. It looks like they're going to come in with a lot of forces. Some of which, I think they have bars, right? Or, do, no, they don't have bars. They haven't gotten the upgrades. I thought for a second, like, bar? No, no bar. <laughs> but they are overwhelming the front. There's a lot of allied forces just moving. Great here, so push back the echelon and hold on to munitions. But allies do take the VP. On the right, they're holding the VP against the counterattack. Grenadiers hide in the building. Nice mortar, I believe, takes out the commandos. Although, like, Game Bomb forces them out of the building. He just gets in and then out again and then is like, yeah, I'm going to retreat. Although, still more Grenadiers coming on in. And a lot of the forces are weakened, so I think the double uh, Grenadier might be able to at least hold this territory. 2 2 2 trying to wear the unit down. And they do successfully do so, making the ET gonna be like, oh, I have no support. I need to pull back. Could be better. FG section are in mid. Again, AT support's coming on over. Fire, it does a little damage. Another shot, pens? We're losing a capture point. That's not the one with the armor protection. That would be hilarious. I mentioned armor protection and every shot just goes right through. Great ears. Uh, still focusing on the AT. Knock out two models. Knock out all the models. There we go. Down the unit. Now they're trying to stop the forward, you know, reinforcement position, which could have been used for the AT gun. I Maybe he was using it. I just didn't see it. Units are being worn down. FG section as well. Continuing to fire. I love this side of the building with so many windows. Hmm. But no, they're they're going to retreat. It, these Grenadiers, well, G43s, are going to force the FG section back in the building. Let's see. Do they at least have armor coming out? 
No, they're the uh, closest would be a Cromwell or a Centaur. Sir Marvell has a major, but again, a little bit off before another armored unit can be deployed. AT guns are firing. 222 is probably going to be its maker. There it goes. No oh, cover, so the axes have some positive. I mean, take that for what you will. Rashlon heals the forward position to make sure they're in a good spot. However, pioneers take the territory. Make this. I'm assuming he made the defensive works, but commandos and soft officer coming on in, which makes a lot of bad news. Again, Centurion's using a lot of manpower for this, so that could be really detrimental for him in the long term by having so much very expensive infantry. Uh, it's hard to keep it up to 100% status. Luckily, commandos. Uh, get support by the smoke ability from the silent centurion uh and uh silent centurion's kind of like ah oh, yes let's kill him good commander milkso runs up his panzer four it's like oh right none of you assholes have uh any sort of at demo but no at so i'm just gonna make sure you stay away from my friendly mg here and uh, you retreat back to your own lines now they sold onto the vp middle they need something for the capture point would be great if they could take it uh, let's see, Grand Ears are more occupied with heading right than taking this, which I think is a big mistake. Let's see. Grand Ears successfully pushed back the Pathfinders in the north. Okay. Overall, not too shabby. Panzer IV as well, just needs some repairs. Pathfinder and Captain, though, pushing on in. Mortar, uh, very low on health. Luckily, got out just in the nick of time. Grand Ears counterattacking. The one up in the north is gonna get annihilated. Stun? No, throws a normal grenade. We are losing oh, I, yeah, interesting. Mortar now coming down on them and 50 cal right there. I'm assuming reinforcing, or close enough to maybe? No, he's not, he needs to just go like a few, there we go. Just literally a foot back and it's like, ah oh, yes, we'll give you more med. But you have to, st you have to stand up, walk over a foot, then you get reinforcements. It's the, some ridiculous nature of Co2. Uh, Grand Ears, very low. Surprisingly did... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, he killed a model. That's hilarious. Panzer IV, uh, very, very low. Infantry section might try to go for the kill here on the Grand Ear, which would kill all of Commander Milk's current Grand Ears. And Storm Pioneer. Uh, sorry, Storm Troopers. Uh, just solid work across the board. Good flank. Silent Centurion saying, hey, when I do attack, I'm going to make sure it kills enemy forces. And by God, it did. Panzer IV being uh, pulled over to help make sure this front doesn't completely collapse. Thanks to all the dead Germans everywhere. Meanwhile, again, Allied forces are slowly pressing to the mid-VP. There is Stormtroopers there. Which, again, I find it surprising that both Axis players have Stormtroopers. But they're not for encirclement. Like, that's just weird in my book. But... Okay. AT guns uh, could be in harm's way. Great shot by the Panzer IV. Knocks out uh, a single AT gun. And technically he could take it, but I guess he doesn't want it. So he's just going to, you know, murder it. Hey, that's fine. Stormtroopers uh, opening fire on it. Driving in the back. Let's see, they're there, just kind of chill. I do find it weird Sir Marvell's kind of just holding off. You would assume he has the men to push. I mean, yes, there is the Grenadiers there and the Panzer IV, but, like, he has double AT guns, the 50 cal. But he is taking over the left territory, so good for him. Sherman's pushed on up. Uh, armor piercing so we can focus on the Panzer. I think it's switching. Yeah, the high explosive that hit the Grand Ear, which the Grand Ears realized. Like, oh, shit. Luckily, the fence takes the shot. Pathfinders doing what they do best and just murder the Pioneers as they approach. Panzer Fork gets a great shot on the Sherman. Sending it backwards. Although, AT guns will drive the Panzer IV back as well. Commandos, again... Surprised we haven't seen Brens. You would assume that maybe with a Bren that they would, you know, deploy it to hope, hopefully kill them, but alas, not the case. AT guns get some good shots, driving the Panzer back again, and uh, this time with less health. 
No more cover. MG section advance. Again, they're getting close to this position, but they need the AT gun to break it before they can take it. Which, hey, if they, something doesn't happen soon, they'll break it. Oh my god, all three are being devoted for it. They'll break it real quick. <laughs> uh, cash goes down. That's 250, uh, 250 manpower down the drain for the Axis. Which, uh, hey, Commander Milks, uh, Mix, whatever. Anyway, Mix is finally, uh, you know, getting more men. And he has gotten upgrades for them, so great. Come back swinging. Werfer's on the field, too, so that's great for all the allied units that are just so clustered together. Can we get a good Werfer shot? Again, would be right here, kill the mortar, maybe knock out the MG, AT guns, or even the ambulance? I mean, like, you go for there. Recon uh, overflight would be great if the Xs had it. They do not. Hold on, are we about to see another dead bread? Oh my god. So many dead friends this game. AT guns are annoyingly in range of the Werfer. Alas, Werfer does murder the AT gun. So, hell, uh, I would say it's a good hit. Almost about one after a single hit. Very lucky the AT gun didn't, like, extend range and kill it. Wait, they see Tiger... Oh, he has the CP for it, but he doesn't have the population for it. Again, some more losses for Ogmore. Oh, didn't he have more Grenadiers? Oh my god. I will give full credit. Allies, I see, I, I get the ax, I get the Allied strategy. Allies like, hmm, we could fight the Germans and take severe losses, or we let the Germans get over cocky, they push us, and then we murder them. But when we murder them so much, they want to do anything to guard the front. Then we push. Solid strategy. Let the enemy kill themselves and uh, uh, pretty much on your line, then, then advance. Commando's trying to stay quiet. Uh, last, they get revealed by the Panzer. They throw a smoke. Not a bad idea to take the territory, but the Panzer Fork always run them over. Although, Panzers have a harder time with running over units in smoke. We have more weapons being dropped. What exactly? It's a 50 cal, so it gets cover more territory. Again, with not as many troops on the front, uh, Silent Centurion does have a small little like bonus of, oh, more manpower. So at least you can hopefully get some stuff out. And now we know what, what the uh, American player was saving up for. And that, in case, was a Comet tank, which is pretty solid and can out, well, shot the Panzer IV. The, well, I would say both Axis players have, but looks like the other one died a terrible death from a, all... I'm just going to make the assumption and say just the lines of AT guns. Stug uh, realizing the AT gun has not left the field and is still very much present. Although, I will give credit to the 50 cal the Germans stole from the American player. That's pretty sweet. Stug, though, uh, goes down thanks to a good shot from the AT gun. Werfer, though, fires again. Uh, does he kill the AT gun? Although, Comet's going to kill you. Oh, Werfer. Always run after firing. Always run. Could drop smoke. I think the Warfare has smoke that you could drop. I'm pretty, if he gets another Warfare, I'm like 90% sure he could have dropped smoke as soon as he saw it coming. But territory is now cut off again, so the Axis don't get much. If anything, they get 13 fuel. That's all you get. Grandiers pull back. Uh, great shots across the board. Minefield was placed, but the Comet does not care and just gets rid of it. Panzer trying to do damage, but again, not going to do very much against the Comet. Drop smoke on the MG to allow the infantry to do what? Oh, run up and murder. That's a, that's a good strategy. I like that strategy. And again, because it's still officer, he can also call an artillery if he starts the position. Comet's still just giving chase. Panzer 4 tries to run him over, but not great at running stuff over. Kills the MG, and he kills the AT gun. I mean, Jackson comes on over, helps to murder it. Hmm, 
The bolts, it didn't help you against that much firepower. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, it, it, to be serious though, it's not looking great for the Axis. They're losing, or about to lose both fuels. Uh, they definitely are now about to lose the VP uh, positions once the... Oh, is he going to take it? Hey, I mean, a pack gun's pretty solid AT, and an MG is pretty good to have. Though commandos might be an expensive unit to, you know, get that equipment. At the very least, they still have it. Um, so, it might be more expensive, but I can't complain too much. Gradier's moving in on the right to hopefully keep some territory connected. Pack line set up against the allied armor, so to be a little bit more cautious. So, again... Uh, in a previous game, I think it will go up before this, uh, Major uh, had Pathfinders, which was really beneficial for seeing long range. The same can be said for Sir Marvell, because they have Airborne, so the Pathfinders have great range. They can see far away. What the heck? Okay. They can see far away, and that allows the Jackson and Sherman to be like, okay, there's the pack guns. Maybe we should stay away from them. So, always use sight or any recon that you have to your advantage. In turn, especially when you're engaging the enemy. Let's see right now. Uh, Pathfinders pull back. Stormtroopers trying to take mid. Uh, 50 cal setting up though. Oh, right. sorry. MG42. My apologies. The British MG42 opening fire and suppressing the unit. Meanwhile, Pack Gun might have successfully pushed back the Comet. Though Comet's not going to fight in mid. Okay. Rumbar. Uh, maybe some long range shots? I can see maybe your hesitation because of the three AT guns, including one of uh, being a former pack gun. You want to be cautious on approach. So let's see. MG's guarding the left. Pathfinders, I think, can see it, right? Yeah, they can absolutely see that position. So they're allowing mortar fire to come on in. Or in this case, the Major's artillery. I'm assuming he's about to call in once he sets back down or they figure it out. Or maybe he's just trying to rake it up veterancy wise. Um, let's see right now. Major's pushing on in. Gets driven away. Grand Ears get driven back by the Sherman Pathfinder combo. There's still this here, but again, they think, I believe they can see. Oh, wait, no. It's through the smoke, a pack gun appears, but Pathfinder's in a decent position. Hopefully, fire up on it. Again, no bars for them. I find that a little weird, but. Whatever. They decap the territory at the very least. British will probably easily hold this. 50 cal. I'm oh, sorry, MG42 moving on in to stop the, these grenadiers. And of course, commandos could also just murder them. There's there, there there's that little antidote. And yeah, they will be brutally murdered and sent back. One of which very close to not coming back at all. On the far right, though, I will give the pioneers this. They are grabbing that territory back, which. The one thing I will say about the Allies is the fact that they are kind of being a little more lax with the VPs. The Allies... Ugh, mm. I mean, like, uh, they have population over the Axis right now. But the Axis are actually playing pretty smart in terms of holding on to the VPs. And trying to keep them under their control for as long as possible. Goes over a Teller. Very lucky that AT Gun did detonate it. Let's see. Commando's holding on there. We are losing a sector. Unit's very low on health. And yeah, he's retreating back. Major is just trying to cling on for dear life. Hold on to the territory. Luckily, as Rechelons. Not the strongest units, but definitely combined. Both these are better than a Pioneer. Oh, Grandiers say, not today. Rush on in. Save the pack gun. Uh, 50 cals being set up to hold back the Major. You know, the highly deadly unit known as the Major. Though, what, the reason why it's actually maybe known for being deadly is the artillery that's about to come on down and smack that very loving shit out of the uh, German support equipment. Luckily, they did, they did pull back. The job is done. Pathfinders move in to grab that territory. Although, Grand Ears Stormtroopers push on the commandos, which are hiding. Oh, my God. Oh, they reveal themselves, but they're on hold fire. Switch on off and run like hell. Get off the position. Again, allies 
need to keep on holding those VPs, otherwise they might. Again, it, it'll be a little bit hairy. Although with the MG here, they should be fine. The left, it looks like the Americans actually putting pressure on the German player, especially with the mortar carriage. Uh, Pathfinders can see farther. Captain's a good cover. So if even the Germans do push up. Why you got that cover, I don't know. You would have held just fine. Uh, Stormtroopers maybe could have thrown incendiary if you saw that. You're like, I don't want to risk it. But then your MG here is come on a road and gets absolutely eviscerated by the unit. So, a I... little weird. A little bit weird, not going to lie. Good kill on the Grenadier. Uh, I'll say that. Just melts him. Uh, speaking of... Okay, Frag Bomb comes on in. Might be able to kill that assault officer. Come on, Commander. You can do it. Or not. Comet comes in. Like, how dare you try to shoot my unit? You shall pay. And, yeah, he's uh, just firing all the AT. And he has more AT, which I, again, find hilarious. Just pushing on in against this position. They also have bombers. They have heavy bombers they can call in. Uh, Germans, once again, completely cut off thanks to this position. Come they're like, ah, oh, god damn it. Try to run him over. Stug actually might, which is we. Oh, no, we got to help. Uh, Stormtroopers Grenadiers rush in to a bunch of Royal Engineers AFG section. It is like, no, I'm not. Uh, this is a bad idea. This is a very bad idea. Rashlons grab the territory over there. But hey, good job with the commandos. At least they took over this. Uh, no, sorry, they knocked out the enemy position there. Let's see, commandos again grabbing more territory. Do we have any additional like, like we? Okay, so you got another Panzer IV. That's a weird choice, especially when you know the Allies have a Jackson and a Comet, which makes me think this is sort of like superficial. Oh, good shot on the mine. At least kill some commandos. But, like, the panther might be better. I mean, like, hell. Get a tiger ace. At the very least, they'll have the damage. And the comet would have a rough time with it. So I, I don't know. A little weird. He was on the teller, wasn't he? Well, uh, there goes the Stug, which is your effective counter for some armor. Or what, uh, you know, was. So, watch out for mines, especially your own mines with your armor. It's probably the moral of the day. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Panther being reinforced. And again, at the very least, Commander has a Panther and a Brumbar. So, at least it's something. And again, Ogmore... We'll see. Maybe you'll end up surprising me with some serious moves with that Panzer IV. But I'm just going to press X to doubt on that one. Let's see. Grandiers lighting up the infantry section. Again, 12 kills. 14 kills with the commandos. MG's slowly suppressing them. Driving the enemy away. Mortar could hit target, maybe? I mean, I have six kills. Allies, where's, do they have mortars? Or am I just, no, they do have a mortar. It has nine kills, okay. I'm like, I thought the American had a mortar still alive. It's focusing on, oh my god. It's focusing on the uh, Pack 40. The health is very low on that. And we have artillery coming on in from the Major, which I'm assuming at this point is Vet 2. So that means more artillery, which might and does kill the MG. Ah, yes. Perfect. Stormtroopers no longer have covers. They're like, uh, okay, we have me moderate cover. But again, that really won't protect them all that much against the mortar carriage. And now we have bombers coming in. Although, for the position... Air again, airborne. With Thompsons now, we're going to drive that uh, MG back. But, like, the bombers are in a weird state. I wonder if he was hoping they would retreat into it. They're actually hitting more of the paratroopers, but I digress. I mean, to be fair, it is weird to call in a bombing strike on a target that is mobile. Wow, Panther driving the Comet away. Uh, 10 kills on the Comet. Panther is at one. I'm assuming infantry. Yep. Let's see, pack gun at least on standby. Maybe a si 
I swear to God, is the British Army... The British Army's support equipment is literally based on the Germans. MG42, pack guns, all to the Brits. They're just... Man, that, that German lend lease to the Brits is really helping out great. Oh my god. Meanwhile, again, on the left-hand side, a surprise the captain doesn't go for it. Okay, there he goes. He's moving on in. And again, a simple upgrade to grenades, especially because you have so much popular... Like, you have... I don't understand why I haven't upgraded Sir Marvell. You need to upgrade the grenade package stuff. Silent Centurion is at least upgraded. Except his Brens, which... I, I don't know. I'll give... I, I, no, I'll still criticize him. Because at least the infantry section will be better. And the commandos... It could be so... I mean, they get bonuses for getting Brens that, you know, make them very, very powerful. So, you now have a new yeah. Tank. Another Panzer IV is on the field, but I now this one makes a little more sense again. At least he has the Panther. Ogmore, I'm assuming, is trying to save, save up for something. Uh, we'll see. Oh, I mean, it's a good choice whatever he ends up getting. It's more expensive. Uh, at least I think. Panther, Tiger Ace, even a Brumbar could be very good. Especially with, like, a lot of people forget positioning behind, like, the train or something and firing over it. Like, that could be very good. Mortar carriage opening fire on the pack gun and the MG. Pack gun actually pretty low. Grandier's moving on in, again, trying to wear down. Force on the front. Again, I'll keep saying it. All these recruit Grandiers are just... Not a great sign. Comet, though, on the uh, trying to help out. The other Comet is on the uh, uh, flip side of the map. Oh, no. He's moved it over. Okay. And bombers are literally in the middle of all this. Wait. Where are they? Oh, no. He's gone. Well, that was way better. That three units dead from that bombing run. Comet now uh, trying to stop the... Minefield, a S minefield being placed. I mean, I get it. He keeps de decruing it. Panther 4 actually pens. Panther as well might hit it. Uh, Brumbar coming in from behind. Not what I expected for a flanking armored unit. Um, but now we have Airborne coming on in. And again, he calls in here, which is good because that's where the Germans are heading. So again, that clears him from this position to cut off the territory if need be. Brumbar pulls back. Infantry might die here if the Pathfinders would shoot. Who needs to shoot when the mortar comes down and detonates the minefield that I believe you yourself placed? Oh my god, that's just perfect. Just perfect. That's a per I'm just gonna say, that's, that's amazing. The Germans are somehow killing their own units. That's incredible. Air support comes on in, kills the Panzer IV at its base, because I guess it locked on before it went in. Uh, there's still this back gun firing on the Comet, but I don't think you're going to kill it. Just pointing out there, I don't think you're going to successfully neutralize it. Meanwhile, on the right, we have Rungineers clearing the mines with this magical device called Minesweepers. So, yeah. They, uh, they at least won't explode. Oh, good. At least the Brits lost one pack gun. So, you know. Yeah. They, although it's still on their side, so they can always pick it up another time. They're like, hey, America, you want, you want to look at this pack gun? You want to take a look at it? It's pretty good. It's pretty good stuff. Just saying. It's some, it's some pretty good equipment. Oh, my. If the American actually picks it up. Okay, he's just, he's just walking by it. Uh, Grand Ears taking the territory. We have more allied armor, in this case being a mortar carriage moving on in. The other mortar carriage is... Oh, did it die? Oh, it might have died. Oh, I'm so sorry. I guess it died. Okay, I didn't... I did not see it perish, but maybe it got too close and some pack guns fired on it. Or maybe that charge, like they focused on the mortar carriage and I missed it. Um, whatever the case may be, the territory is cut off. Axis are getting a grand total of seven fuel per turn. So, uh, in the meantime, Ogmore is like, yeah, with seven fuel per turn, I'm just not feeling a Tiger Ace. And by feeling, I mean unable to get. So, I'll get a Panther instead. That, that's fine. 
that that that's fine. Order comes on in. Uh, again, drives the commandos away. Pack guns kind of moving on in. Grandiers as well. At least drives the uh, back. Trying to grab the territory. Okay. So they're just, the paratroopers like, we'll just wait behind this building. It's cool. You guys are losing anyway, so we're not really sweating all that much. We have majority of the map. We're just worried about the minefields. We don't want to sacrifice men needlessly, of course. Commandos have 29 kills. This officers is a healthy number. Pathfinders are, all have 12 to 13. Okay, captain has 14. Uh, let's see, best kills is the mortar, is it really, no, the Brumbar. No, Grandier has 17 kills, Ogmore's best unit is the mortar with six. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the mortar with six. All right, trench is there, they need to be uprooted. Grandier's and Panther are gonna try to do exactly that, but Comet Force is slowly making its way over. It's like, don't worry, we'll, we'll deal with this in just a moment. Panzer IV in the back as well, moving on in. They're gonna fire on the Grenadiers. Again, Alex has been very cautious, but hell, that cautious approach seems to be been working in the, in the later half. Well, the Axis vehemently try to charge and do something, which ends up making it worse. And that's just been on loop the past, like, probably 10, 15 minutes. Probably say 10. Comments opening fire, air support inbound on the Panther, Panther 4. Brumbar can't stop the commandos. Although one of the, the you know, comments is down. Air support's focusing on the Brumbar and also hitting the pack guns. Airstrike's not doing as much as I thought they would be doing. But uh, here comes the armor. Allied forces charging against the mortars, which again, be doing work, but uh, probably less so right now as the mortar, uh, it's only direct target is directly in front or next to it. One mortar goes down, the other one retreats. Pack gun line is operational, but again, took a little too long to get over there, and the armor just pulled back. They took a few hits, but nothing too serious. Commandos holding onto that territory. And uh, Pathfinders are holding on over there. Grenadiers, let's see, moving on in. White Phosphorus coming down. Uh, yeah, Pioneers, you may need a medic. Or a lot. Uh, a lot which seems like a good idea. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, trying to heal up that, on that position, which again, you have to worry about the mines and the American mortar. Gradier's pushing on in, but Pathfinder's saying, no, we're just gonna go on the territory. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Again, just saying the grenade stuff and the uh, weapons, but who am I kidding? <laughs> At this point, it's probably not gonna happen. MG, pretty weak though in the trench. If it explodes, it's not gonna be great for the MG. There it goes. Forced to get out. And at least that other MG's fine. The, the commandos are there, and they're about to murder that grid. The grid here just walked into the commandos and just got shot dead. Oh, boy. Great shots. Now they're trying to hide. They're all in one position, though. Did... Did the panther just shoot and kill all the men? Alright, well, commandos just perished. That's what happened when you combine them in one spot, all the models, and they actually somehow kill them. Minefield's going off. They do not care at this point, I guess, but they're meh. After that bullshit on the commandos. Uh, by bullshit, I mean amazing this. They're flanking all the support equipment. And again, launching artillery because the officer doesn't be right on top of it. He has some range. Armor knocks out the, the enemy. Panther charges, but again, into what? Jackson's and Comets? Good luck, buddy. Try to take territory, but can't thanks to the infantry section. Even then, you would need other pieces of territory, which not gonna happen. And it's a GG, so all right. Nice little game right there. 
again, my, my key concern about that game is the fact that it wasn't amazing. There were some funny moments for sure, but I would say like player wise in terms of movement, I felt like neither side was like moving or doing these insane maneuvers. And I feel like some basic stuff like upgrading could have worked very well. Um, I don't know. It, it's funny because the German guy kept upgrading his men. He just kept losing it. Uh, comments again, okay on the kill count. I think the commandos were probably the best killers for Silent Centurion. Um, but still, comments did pretty well holding back the enemy armor. Sir Marvel, again, good AT support. Um, but yeah, not much damage outside of that. Uh, commander, about 9.6k. Uh, mm, 10 kills, not that great. And then you think, it's like, oh, right. They ended up killing the commando, so hell of a shot. Um, Grandiers did well, they just kept being mass produced. That's the problem. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, 50 kills, but yet, yeah, you know, you lost so many. Um, and then on the flip side, we have the Grandiers 68 kills, but again, if I go to how many they lost, he produced 10. So it's really on average of like, what, 6.8 kills a unit? Pack guns did bit a bit better, but he lost all of them, and then I believe the British picked it up, if I recall correctly. Or anyway, they were at least the Allies were had use of the pack guns, which was quite hilarious. But the Allied strategy of holding it, you know, a defensive uh, patch and waiting for the enemy to wear itself down, at, or like uh, sorry, a defensive network and then wear uh, the wear down strategy did work. Um, I feel like Axis at a certain point just kept throwing men instead of just playing defense and waiting for the allies to push and hoping to kill them. But, like, good bombing run, good strikes, good mortar. Like, allies did a lot of good things. I think their hesitation could have put them in a bind, but over, over, overall they worked pretty well. So, what do you guys think? By the way, thank you, Sir Marvell, for submitting this replay. Thank you, good sir, and for being an amazing patron. But anyway, let me know what you think down below. This has been GrayShot17. I'll see all you guys next time. Hello, everyone. Before you all go, you can check out more content above. You can subscribe. And you can hear as I talk about some amazing people who support me on Patreon, which include Falkford, Afria, Joey G240, Malam, Ace, Shinobi Warrior, Pyroshark, Sumtool, Epic Pleb. Thank you all for your incredible support. You literally help this channel keep on growing. So thank you. If you want to support the channel, again, check out some of the stuff I mentioned. Otherwise, I'll see all of you next time.